In this video, let's start with differentiation. Basically, we studied continuity and after that we studied differentiability. Differentiation is the process in which you find the derivative. You have already done in class 11 how to find the derivatives. We have also done some rules related to the derivatives. This is a recapitulation of, of what all things you studied in class 11. After few videos, we will be starting with the actual part of class 12 in differentiation. But this video is dedicated to the recapitulation and the introduction all over again of differentiation. We will be quick because you have already studied in class 11 most of the concepts. So the process of finding derivatives, the process of finding derivatives is called as differentiation. And if you have been given a function fx, its differentiation or derivative is given by f dash x. This is pronounced as f dash x or dfx. Now dfx can be written in two ways. One way is writing d and then making a brackets in writing fx. Otherwise simply dfx. Now when you know what is differentiation, one must also know that are there any formulas related to it or we have to all over again derive all the formulas by the first principle. Remember in class 11 we started derivation by first principle. So I told you that time also most of the teachers must have told you that yes it is necessary to memorize some standard formulas. Those standard formulas are some of these. These include the algebraic formulas logarithmic, exponential as well as the trigonometric ones. The inverse trigonometric formulas we will be studying later on in the successive videos. So the first into picture is d by dx of x. Now x is a variable. Variable when differentiated with respect to the same thing that means dx is here, x is here or dy is here, y is here. What is the answer to it? Its differentiation is 1, right? This is all that you have done in class 11. We are just memorizing the things, remembering, revising. So c is the constant d by dx of c. c is what constant. Now what is the differentiation of a constant? It is nothing but 0. Constant with respect to a variable. Now d by dx of x raised to the power n. This has been used most of the time till date and still will be used. You have to remember this. The d by dx of x raised to the power n. Nx raised to the power n minus 1. This is the answer. This formula is of wide importance. One must remember it. e raised to the power x. Exponential differentiation is exponential only. No change. That is the answer. Next is a raised to the power x. It is a form of again exponential. So it is a raised to the power x log a raised to the power x log a. That is the answer. a raised to the uh, power x will remain as it is and it is log a. Next is what? Log x. Derivative of log x is nothing but 1 by x. Next is derivative of log x but the base is not e this time. It is base a. So the answer is 1 by x log a to the base e. In the denominator you will have the base, right? Sin x derivatives, these all are now your trigonometric formulas that are coming into picture, these 6. You have to remember them, sin x derivative is cos x, cos x derivative is minus sin x. This you have already done, right? Tan x is secant square x. Next, cosecant x is minus cosecant x into cot x. So it is minus cosecant x cot x. Cot x is minus cosecant square x. And secant x is nothing but secant x multiplied by tan x. So these are all the formulas that you have to remember by heart so that we can always solve the questions related to them. Otherwise, if you don't remember, you will have to derive using the first principle every time which will waste a lot of time. So I request you to please watch this video carefully, memorize the formulas, revise them all over again and recapitulate what you did in class 11 related to differentiation.